I'm here with Mr. Cassidy, our school's resident expert on English, and Mr. Theme's next door neighbor. Uh, Mr. Cassidy, what, what, what would your opinion be of Mr. Theme? I find him to be a very interesting individual okay. with uh, a rather open mind. Uh, I would cite uh, his ability to accept new challenges late in life, in his case, extremely late in life. You probably know this, but how old do you think he is? Well, he looks 82. <laughs> I think he's probably in his middle to early 60s. Really? Would you? So you would disagree then if I told you that Mr. Theme was eternal? He was a being that has been here forever and he will be forever? You get a point. I think I would uh, need to take it to a local pub and perhaps really spend some time meditating on that. What? You might have a point. Well, that's possible. It's good or bad. I mean, he works at Loyola, so he'll be eternally poor, which is um, a depressing thing for him. But uh, it's good that the kids, you know, the great-great-grandchildren of, of people like yourself will be able to have Mr. Theme for uh, a teacher. Uh, he still won't be able to use a computer by that time, but still, um, he's, he's a good man. Like I said, he knows, he knows a lot, and he's very good at spinning a yarn. So then, so then you trust him with the education of your children. You're not. Oh, I didn't say not my children. Okay. Absolutely not. All right. No, that's a... no. You got to have standards, higher standards for your own Thank kids. Thank you. That's yes. That's all right. Do you think you have anything in common with Mr. Theme? Our height. We both love great literature. I think that uh, his choice in movies is questionable, but uh, yeah, I think we have uh, our literature in common. Uh, our love of baseball would be a common factor. So yes, I think we're several, in several ways we're similar. Okay. Does it alarm you at all that there have been rumors going around that he is an alien life form? I mean, seeing as how you have so much in common, I figure that might... <laughs> uh, once again, Joseph, you're catching me by, uh, I'm just not prepared for this. Uh, yeah, it concerns me a little. It doesn't really startle me that much. Um, only it would have, but um, if you would have seen him today in his uh, cowboy western rodeo shirt, I think anybody that would wear that to school multiple times would have to be considered uh, extraterrestrial. I mean, there's something wrong. What do you think about his wardrobe? Is that what it is? What do you think he does when he goes out west? I mean, he says that he's out on some Shakespearean search, or he goes to visit his mother, or he's out birding. But uh, what, what do you think he really does? Do you think that's just a facade? Uh, no, I think there's some truth in that. For example, if he would spend two months out west, the equivalent of 60 days, I'm sure that those activities you mentioned occupy a strong three days out of the 60. I think a lot of the summer he's just really lost. <laughs> I think we all know what he does out in the out west. Um, what is it? Why the birds, you know? <laughs> I, I think it's, I don't know, I think it's an excuse just to leave Minnesota. I think he's kind of a wimp, he always makes fun of me and not being able to handle cold. I think it's just an excuse to leave Minnesota and head to exotic places like Omaha and Topeka, stuff like that. Why birds? Why, why not apes like himself? <laughs> because they're gorgeous and he's not. You know, I've asked myself again at the local pub many times, that same question. Why? I have no... Joseph, if I could have any kind of an answer, I'd, I'd try to bring it out. I have no idea. Why? Indeed. Why birds? If I told you that if I poured water on Mr. Theme, he would melt. Yes. Would I believe that? Would you believe that? Would you... Would, I mean, would it make you want to pour water on him? <laughs> Uh, Just to see, you know. No, I I think actually, what I think it would make his hair grow longer. Really? So you think yes. it might make him stronger? I think it would make him stronger. All right. I'm pretty certain that that uh, yeah, he he looks yeah like somebody that spent a lot of time wading through water or walking on water. I'm I'm sure that that is a source of strength actually. Yeah. Well, this is this is something that uh that everyone wants to know. What is in that lunchbox that he carries? That that old rusty. Ancient lunchbox. Pizza. Pizza. Yes. Okay. Right now. All right, I'm on my way to Theme's room after school to ask him some questions. Highly suspicious of this man. Theme. 
Somebody put water on him, and he disappeared. Where'd he go? All we heard was a, ah, and he was gone. What? What? Where'd he go? We don't what? know. Seriously, where'd he go? No, what, what happened? What happened? Somebody put water on him, and he, poof, gone. Yeah, I was back there doing a worksheet, and all I heard was, ah. And a slam on the desk. And what the heck? I don't know. I, where'd he go? This is. Is that true? Yes. Like the There's a witch. needle that was right down there, and it hit the ground. Just gone. After his disappearance, the investigation was discontinued. No significant answers were found. Chris Theme left us as mysteriously as he came, leaving this question burned into the minds of all that knew him. What the heck? Could you give me your best Mr. Theme impression for me? 